Hi guys, so you wanted a tutorial on these jeans. So I'm using these packs and mom jeans that I didn't really like and I'm first pinpointing where I want the rips to be at. I could do a whole nother video on how to rip the jeans, so let me know if you want to see that. Then I wanted to bleach the jeans like I did with this pair and in this bottle there's half water and half bleach and I kind of just sprayed it wherever pretty much. Then I waited for it to dry and I threw in the washer and dryer. Then I took these bandanas from Michaels and I just cut up random patches and placed them wherever I thought would look good and this is totally optional but you can use fabric glue to secure it down. It just makes it easier when you're sewing and I could do a whole nother sewing video if you want to see that. Um, yeah, if you have a sewing machine, definitely use that for sure, dude. Um, then I re-bleached it because I didn't like it. Then I free-handed some Sanrio characters and did this whole rhinestone Hello Kitty thing and fuck, I'm running out of time, shit. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Who are you? Man, I be that pretty motherfucker, man. ASAP? Yes, sir. Rocky? Yes, sir. Welcome to Austin, Texas, ASAP. Thank you. have been asking for a tutorial on my hairstyle sweater but there's no way in hell my mom will make all this again so i'll try my best to show you how she made it first the colors are yellow red black green orange and a pattern with black and red she made the sweater using squares and rectangles for the squares she used 28 stitches and 25 rolls with 18 centimeters per 18 centimeters but these measures may vary depending on your size and type of yarn for the back, she used a total of 9 rectangles. We are from Brazil, so the stitches here are named Ponto Ros Simples, Ponto Ros Duplo, Ponto Liso, and Ponto Mal. The front has two pieces. You can follow the sequence based on the pictures. For the wrist, she used a different stitch in red. The squares have to go a little further than where you want it to be so the sleeves can get this puff effect. Use the same stitch in red for the end of the sweater. For the collar, she used a stitch called one by one. To put it all together, she hand sewed the pieces with a tapestry needle. Hope it makes sense, do it me if you make it and feel free to ask any-
Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this top. For this, you want to use a fitted vest top, then crop it. I cropped 7 inches off mine. And then on both side seams, mark 5 inches from the bottom and 3 inches either side of the seam. Then join them all up and cut it out. Now you should have this shape and then just hem all of your raw edges. Then on your extra fabric, mark out 4 strips. These are an inch wide and 12 inches long. Then cut them out and pull on them to create this tube shape. Once you've done that, on the back of the top, mark 3 inches up from the bottom on each side. And then on the front, mark 2 inches up from the bottom on each side. Once you've done that, pin a strap to each of the 4 marks you just made and sew it on. Once you've done that, it should look like this. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is that video that people were requesting to see how I do the crisscross ties. So you're going to cut your design of your shirt out in like a box or rectangle shape. And then you're just going to use scissors and literally shove them through to create a small hole. But make sure you're going through the top and the bottom part of the shirt. And that does take a minute. And then use the rest of the shirt and you're going to cut two long strips and stretch them out because those are gonna be the strings that you use. And then you're just gonna go in through the bottom of the shirt, pull both pieces through, make sure you do both sides at the same time so you don't mess it up. And then you're gonna crisscross those and start weaving them through the top of the shirt and you're just gonna go top, bottom. And then I fixed it a little, tied the bow, and there's the finished look. Thanks guys. Yo, 
today I'm going to smash some sloppy seconds. So I'm starting by scissoring out two rectangles and then pinning them down to go to pound town. <laughs> Next, I'm cutting off the excess and then flipping her brains out to close that bitch up. Then I got Mr. Steamy to flatten the edges and make them crispy. Next, I'm cutting a bunch of little peepees to make the mega peepee and sewing parallel lines across the fabric for its home. Finally, I'm ripping the hole open and penetrating. Antes, y después, puta. Now I got the perfect top that looks like it costs more than my dinner. But that's okay, because I'm the dessert. <laughs> yeah.